Hi guys, I know I've been a bit quiet on the vlog side of this channel for a little while but that's why I'm here now, that's why we're having this catch-up session. So this video is titled The Good, The Bad, The Ugly of COVID-19 and the lockdown and confinement and all those other fancy words that we've come to know like quarantine and social distancing and etc. So please let me know in the comment section below how you are doing and uh, yeah, anything that you've been up to in the last, I don't know, uh, most of us have been in South Africa, we've been in lockdown for 21 days. So if you haven't been following me on Instagram, what I've been doing for the last 21 days is posting like a short little music video every day, literally for the last 21 days. And this is a decision I took once the president announced that we've been locked down for 21 days. 21 days are done, even though the president has dribbled us and extended the lockdown and now we're going to be in this thing until the end of the month but i have completed my 21 day agreement and i'm out now some of the most exciting things that i used to uh, be scared of doing used to be bungee jumping or skydiving or swimming but lately those uh things have changed because now I fantasize about going to the shops without a mask or shaking the hand of a stranger or him. And that, do those things not just send shivers down your spine, right? Like I'm shivering in my boots right now if I had boots, but I'm shivering in my uh, Crocs. Oh, dear. Wow, there we go. <laughs> So I just wanted to mention some really nice things about COVID-19 uh, because I mean despite all the evil and darkness that this failure has brought upon us there is a little bit of light in all that maybe a little bit more than a little but yes so for example I a lot of I know a lot of people are getting to spend time with their families right now uh, I'm getting time to I'm getting the chance to spend time with my siblings they came to the house and I'm so blessed and really grateful to have them staying with me yeah we're getting to bond on a whole new level like it's it's like wow amazing i hope you're having the same thing also in your family and that you're getting to connect with whoever you're chilling with be a friend or someone but you're building like stronger relationships in this time so that's really a positive thank you COVID 19 for that and a lot of people are realizing that they can't live without smoking or drinking depending on what it is because if you're in cape town you can probably still buy cigarettes and depending on where you are but yes there are people who are realizing they can live with the things they thought they couldn't live without like constantly being drunk every weekend and stuff like that so that's fantastic i'm really happy for those people and i'm realizing that i look good with uh these fake glasses on <laughs> anyway uh yeah I, and also like i'm realizing that working from home is not the dream that i used to think it was i'm really disappointed with working from home if working home from home was a person i would have shouted at them because uh, it's difficult staying motivated but there are things that i'm trying and doing that are helping me tolerate it but i think the ideal solution to three days at home two days in the office now that would be heaven on earth <coughs> oh, whoa uh, Rona, is that you? I've been expecting you. <coughs> is that you? That's you. Make me cough again. <coughs> okay. Oh, good. Unfortunately, like every crisis, there is a downside. And that's what makes it a crisis. Right. 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 Oh, I look good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, unfortunately, uh, so I would like to acknowledge some of the negative things that come with uh, that can come with our honourable guest COVID nineteen. Uh, these include, for example, there are people who are running out of food. There are people who have run out of food, and there are people who never had food, irrespective of whether COVID nineteen showed up or not. And uh, this is unfortunate, but I think I'd like to just take this chance to ask you to try and help whoever you can. I mean, like, I'm staying in a place where I really don't know who my neighbors are, but I know they are all well off, so I don't need to worry about them having food. And that's the case with a lot of people. And unfortunately, the people who actually can't afford to help others are the ones who find themselves staying next to neighbors who can't help. So, I mean, put something on your state to be like, if you know a family that needs help, holler at me and someone will. So reach out to you and you can help a family that's in need i mean just to give you some sort of motivation i will give my what i've been doing so i've given uh well, i think about three thousand rand just or well, just more than that at least three thousand rand uh over the last three weeks to families who are in need and uh this has been to random people and it's really helped a lot of people some of them uh some people who the organization that i did it through gave me feedback and it really makes you feel good to know that you are helping people and 
of course yeah, um, I, I know that um, there are some of you who can definitely uh, give away a lot more than that and there are also some of you who are wishing that I had given that to you <laughs> and um, I, I'm sorry that I didn't hopefully one day I'll be able to or something we'll see but don't take this don't take this lightly like please if you can help someone help repeat after me I will help those in need I will help, help those in need. need thank you and uh, don't let the devil trick you into this mentality of Uti if you don't help people if you help people now you can find yourself two three months down the line still not working or something and hey, now you need help if you do reach that state there will be people who will be willing to help you come on get uh, the new warning don't worry about that at all uh, you'll be fine I assure you the second uh, thing that is unfortunate about this crisis is that of course there are people who are being abused now I know in the media already we speak a lot about physical abuse but there are people who are being abused at home physically mentally emotionally and lots of other things and so it's really terrible but it's uh, it's life i guess such is life but that doesn't mean we must do nothing about it or we must just go well meh, and walk away from the situation we should step into the situation and look around and find solutions right um and i know there are people who have gone through pretty much almost any problem that you might find yourself in and so i think the challenge is to find that person will find the whatever they did in order to survive that situation. I know a lot of people have gone through these things. So guys, if you have gone through some difficult times, even if you haven't, but you know of what can help, please drop us something in the comment. Give us some advice so that we can help those who are around us and stuff like that. It will really do a lot of good to people. I mean, that's why I don't charge people for making comments on my YouTube videos, literally. Like if it was not for that, <laughs> you'd be paying thousands, I tell you. Uh, now, third thing I'd like to mention is that of course there are a lot of people who will lose their jobs. Uh, there are businesses that will close and all these things and but what I'd like to remind you is that this is also the opportunity then for new entrepreneurs to rise this is the opportunity for new businesses to open up and the only way you can get that guys is for you to put on your entrepreneurial spirit and caps and then go out there look around what you can't go out there stay at home <laughs> And uh, just think about things and come up with really good ideas that you can implement for businesses and have s solid planned out things, not just in your head, guys, that's playing yourself. Write those things down, make an Excel sheet or, or projections of your costs and your incomes and expenses and sales or something or a PowerPoint presentation. Even if you don't have computers, paper, write it down, but do something. And then that gives you a good chance of making sure your business will succeed once lockdowns end and people are allowed to start doing what they want to do or can do. So, and also as a, a option I'll give you is that I am not really into opening up businesses. I'm more like I like to support. <laughs> at least that's what I, I think I, I would be better at doing. I'm excellent. At playing devil's advocate so if you do have like a business idea that you want someone to just like fire some bullets at and see if it holds water uh, holler at me instagram at official colombo and uh yeah i'll try to reply as soon as possible unfortunately unlike most people i don't have that much free time because of lockdown because I'm still working essential services yes we are still working so those of you who are on holiday please be a clear rest for me now also. and then uh, i won't steal your idea i'm very 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 honest i assure you this <laughs> i know it's all right but i am really i assure you and i mean if you send it on instagram then you have proof that you did mention it to me so you could sue me if i try to dribble you but i must say if you come to me and tell me the formula for the vaccine for covid 19 you rest assured i don't care about mm, i'm gonna tell the world they must no, did you hear me? I said I'm gonna tell the world. Thank you for watching, guys. Keep well, stay safe, stay at home, wash your hands, and share and spread the love. And stop sharing fake news. Those of you who share fake news. Uh,
Listen up, listen up, baby. I'm only gonna say this once. Today I'm giving up on that same old love. I'm taking back my heart today. I need you out of my life, face up. I got no goodbye for you. I got no last kiss for you. And if this message breaks your heart, baby, 